hell, I didn't even see you. You were a million miles away. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Grace, you're my wife. Come on, what were you thinking about? Come on, sit down, sit down. Now, come on. Tell me what you were thinking. Well, I guess I was thinking about my family. My other family, you know. Wondering if I even have one. Honey, you can't let this upset you. Sam, it's just that... Now, the whole first part of my life, everything that happened to me before you found me in that fire in Boston is a complete blank. I mean, total amnesia. It, it, sometimes, sometimes I just wonder if I'll ever remember anything. Well, I've been checking the chat room on the internet. And have you heard anything from the speaker? No. I mean, they've never signed on since. I just don't get why they haven't contacted you. I mean, they said they were looking for a grace. They knew about the moles on my left shoulder. It just really seemed like they knew me. Oh, well, there must be a reason why Seeker hasn't been back online. Hey, but we're not going to give up, all right? I know you have family out there, and we're going to find them. And what made you start thinking about your past? Well, I don't know. I guess it was Miguel. Miguel? <laughs> Why? Oh, the girl that he's interested in is moving away with her mother, and he was pretty upset. I guess his loss made me think about the family I lost. I guess that can be it. Hmm, of course it is. <laughs> I mean, what else would it be? Excuse me, can you help me? Well, I'll certainly try, miss. What's the problem? I'm looking for someone. My aunt. I have to find her. Well, is she in trouble? Uh, are you? No, no, no. It's just really important that I find her. Well, I'm sure we can find her. I'm, why don't you tell me about her? Well, why don't we go down to the station now so you can give me a description of your aunt? Uh, no, there's no time. Uh, thanks for offering your help, but I'm afraid if I don't hurry that she's going to disappear for good. I have a friend who can help me find her. Okay, but listen, if you need my help, you just come down to the police station, right? Uh, thanks, I will. I'm sorry, Miss Crane. It's, uh, it's my fault. Ah, Chief Bennett. I hope that arrogant cop Louise isn't with you. Uh, no. No, he's not. Oh, good. I'm in no mood to be arrested again. He's a good cop. He's only doing his job. I couldn't believe the animosity he showed towards me on the stand today. You know, after Pilar's party, I actually started to think he might be human. I saw a different side to him. Uh, it was a party after all. I should have stuck with my first instinct. He's hard-nosed and unbending towards the Crane family. Why is that? Oh, I think you better ask Luis that. So, have you made arrangements to do your community service yet? Actually, I was on my way there right now. Good. Well, 100 hours isn't that bad, is it? I just hope it goes by fast. And that I never have to see another cop in this town again. Well... As chief of police, I can tell you the best way to avoid a cop is to not break any laws. Don't worry. You know, I still can't figure out how Luis turned out the way he did. Such a wonderful mother like Pilar. Hey, chief. Hey, Luis. Just ran into Sheridan Crane. Hope you don't mean literally. Woman's a menace in a vehicle. Nah, she was on her way over to do some community service. Let me tell you, she's no big fan of yours. Suits me fine. The less I see of that woman, the better. I got some news for you. What's up? Brother Hank's back in town. Hank? You're kidding. What kind of trouble is he going to get into this time? 